Here we go, there's your Sumo, your Seiko Sumo has a, uh, a new bracelet that I want to show you. This is the Strap Code N-Mill 20mm bracelet. You know the, um, the Seiko Sumo is a very beloved watch amongst the watch Cognoscenti. But uh, its bracelet has something uh, to be desired. And one of my uh, criticisms of Seiko, and this is going to prove definitively that I am not a Seiko fanboy, is that while I love Seiko watches, and while they uh, are probably uh, the reason that, that I got out of the, uh, the oversized circus uh, fashion TV brands, <laughs> so I got to give uh, Seiko credit for that. You know, their problem with Seiko is they use a hodgepodge of materials that kind of clash with one another. So you have this very beautiful refined case on the Seiko Sumo, and then it has a, a bracelet that rattles, and then it has an aluminum can, beer can type of material for the clasp, which is completely unacceptable. Did I say clasp correctly? There you go. So uh, now one of the things you're going to notice about the... Um, the bracelet, it's not a complete match. It's pretty subtle. The color is not a complete match. It's a perfect fit, but it's just a little light. The color is just a little bit light. Let me see if I can give you another angle there. Every time you move it, you know, you got you to focus. Now, I'm not going to make the mistake this time of putting a bunch of watches in at the same time because my SLR camera, my Canon T5i, I think it's called, it starts getting confused. It starts focusing on a bunch of uh, on a bunch of things at once. So what I want to say is I think an upgrade bracelet's really appropriate for like a tier 2 or tier 3 watch once you start getting into the power jewelry as William Gibson calls those luxury top tier Swiss watches. Once you get into power jewelry you really want to leave the, um, the bracelet alone. It comes with the you know that's part of its trademark the stock bracelet. Now let me show you the end mill on the uh, the third generation Seiko Black Monster 22 millimeter and what you'll see here is that the uh, the color is not a mismatch it's a perfect brush stainless steel fit now again you know the mismatch on the tuna is not a problem for me uh, I just think it gives the watch a, a more masculine uh, weight and heft and so what you want to do is then you you may want to look at the super engineers. Now the super engineers are, are even more masculine in my opinion, but I almost felt that they were too thick for the Seiko Sumo, though I do like it on the Seiko Tuna. The Tuna, this particular model, the SBBN uh, 017, only comes with a rubber strap, so you, you know, you feel free to uh, upgrade it any way you want in that case. Now another disappointment I had in terms of bracelets, and this is a tier 3 watch, I never did like the bracelet on the Orient Saturation Diver. Love the watch, hate the bracelet. And so uh, I was just so happy uh, the way it fit with the uh, the Super Engineer 2 also by Strap Code. By the way, I do not work for Strap Code. Now a couple watches I do not recommend a uh, an upgrade is Citizen. The thing about Citizen in this particular uh, model, the uh, the ProMaster Sky, every piece of material seems to be honed from the same atoms. It's it's all it's just so it's so perfectly put together. Everything there's a certain integrity to these watches, which I have here in black. That you don't even want to mess with it. It's just it's almost like a perfect watch, uh, and I highly recommend these. You can get these for about eight hundred dollars. They're they're Japan only watches. They're Echo drives, and I've talked about them before. For those of you who've seen my videos, let me show you the silver model. Uh, these do use sapphire, and uh, you don't even have to mess with a bracelet. Everything seems to be constructed of the same material, and I and I like that about a lot of citizen watches in your uh, tier 2 and tier 3. I can't say that about Seiko. They just put like these Frankenstein bolts and uh, parts on the watches. So uh, if you're looking for an upgrade 
for your Seiko Sumo, I do recommend the end mill. I uh, do want to point out though that you know you may find that the color of the bracelet is too light for for the Sumo. But uh, this here you go, looking at my fifth Sumo. Isn't that interesting? And about the only watch I'm really craving right now is a watch that I used to own. It's called the Benares More Dart. 44 millimeter. I'd like to get it. I had the black dial. I think I want the gray dial. I do hope that Benares makes a uh, another model of it soon. But if not, I will just suffer with my first world problems. Until next time, I'm out.